Hey everyone at Collider, my name is Merely Mark Ellis. This is special guest Jeremy Johns. You're in town, you decided to come to a trailer reaction with your old pal Mark. Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them. This is trailer two, maybe the final trailer we get. Are you excited to see this venture back into the universe of Harry Potter? I feel like this is the third trailer I've seen for this movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 there's been a few. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm a big Harry Potter guy. I've seen all the movies, read all the books, and prefer the books to the movies, but the movies are just great. Uh, I want to see what else they can do. There being no books leading up to this is its own thing. Well, I'm not so I'm much for book learning, but I certainly enjoy <laughs> watching the Harry Potter on the big screen. Let's see how it looks 70 years prior to those events, I'm going to hit play. Reading's good. Ah. Oh, boom. Ooh, it's magic and cold in the you air. Know, for 24 hours, that an unregistered wizard set magical beasts loose in New York? Yes. Where is this man? That. So, you're the guy with the case full of monsters, huh? Use travels first. I already feel like I'm back in that Mrs. universe. Mr. Spander, do you know anything about the wizarding community in America? We don't let things loose. <laughs> hey, Mr. English guy, I think your egg is hatching. You wiped his memory, right? The no magic. The what? No magic. The non-wizard. Sorry, we call them muggles. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, I think the Ministry would have a problem with this dude. Yeah. Oh, there's a muggle loose. I don't think I'm dreaming. I gave it away. I ain't got the brains to make this up. Whoa! Something is stalking our city! Wreaking destruction! And then disappearing without a trace! Witches! Live among us. We've lived in the shadows for too long. Ask all of you. Ooh, Who I love me some Colin Farrell. Us or them? Danger. He thinks he's danger. This is related to Grindelwald's attacks in Europe. This could mean war. We got a plan, right, guys? They need our help. Is that everything that came out of the case? Hi, <laughs> yeah! I want that another one die. I like the guy, I just wanted to punch him in the face. <laughs> yeah, he down. just straight up assaulted him. No? All right, Jeremy, that's the trailer for Fantastic Beasts that's and Where it. to Find Them. Uh, is this something that you yourself are more interested in because of this trailer? Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. Because, uh, I mean, the trailer's been vague thus far. I usually stay out of the rumor mill. I just mm -hmm. I just do. I, do, I don't like rumors. I don't have my ear to the ground to that because I like going into a movie and enjoying it. Uh, there's a lot to love about that. I lo the thing I love most is the fact that there are two, kind of, uh, two kinds of reactors in mm -hmm. the world, mm -hmm. professionals who can do commentary as it's happening. Thank you. And doorknobs who just sit there and go the entire time. That's me, by the way. No, I, I'm I, that kind of I reactor. like the way you take You almost take it like, like you're a coach. Like you try not to emote too much. You don't want to give away your hand when you're watching something. <laughs> That's exactly why I do but it. But what I was reacting to the most, to be honest with you, was seeing the Fantastic Beast, was yeah. seeing all these things that are either coming out of the briefcase or just existing in the world because you have those little tiny cute creatures. Then you have those huge spiky ones that are growing. Right. My big question watching this trailer is what is the level of human knowledge of this other world? Because it seems like those worlds are about to collide. Yeah, because uh, also the Ministry of Magic, I mean, strict rules. You know, when uh, Harry Potter and the uh, the Order of the Phoenix, he used the Patronus spell. They're like, you're out of Hogwarts. You can't use magic in the real world. Yeah, so like this a is going to pose a problem for this yeah. dude. And the Ministry's going to get a little pissed about it. So I want to see who comes into action, laying down the rules, going, no, you can't do that. You're, is he, did, I mean, did he drop out of Hogwarts? Who is this dude? You know, I have no idea who he is. You know, I like that this is 70 years prior mm -hmm. to the events of Harry Potter because mm -hmm. if something did get unleashed into 
of the world that we know, maybe that gives it enough time for it to either we have learned from our mistakes, maybe that's why that rule mm -hmm. is so right. well guarded in the Harry Potter movies. Right, right, right. This will cause a lot of problems. This. Uh, when does this take place? The year exactly? 70 years prior to the events of the first Harry Potter movie, I believe. So so before he got, like, when he got that scar on his forehead, 70 years before that happened, <laughs> right. is my guess with this movie. I like the old-timey feel of it. I like that it's mobsters using magic right. instead of busting out Tommy guns. Yeah. Some of them have Tommy guns. Some of them have wands that they're just doing magic mm -hmm. back and forth. So you definitely get the vibe that you're in the Harry Potter universe. I already had that vibe from the other mm -hmm. trailers. So this one didn't do too much more to sell me on the movie. I was already locked in. Is there anything after watching this trailer that makes you a little more apprehensive than you were? No, no, not at all. It was just it, everything just made me a little more interested mm -hmm. because, I mean, I'm, I, I'm locked into the Harry Potter books, right? And so I'm like, all right, that's Harry Potter. If you give me something else... Don't mess with that. Make it good. Don't mess with that universe. It, it looks entertaining. And so that, that's all I can ask for is just give me a good movie. Do I expect it to be as good as the Harry Potter uh, story? No. But I still want it to be great. You, you know? sound a lot like a Star Wars fan walking into The Phantom Menace for the first time. Like, oh. I love my classic trilogy. It's not going to be as good as that. Just don't mess with it. Oh. So we will see. Phantom Menace? No. We were all like, gobble, gobble, <laughs> give me, give me, give me. We, we very, hadn't learned yet. Very excited. And there were no double-sided lightsabers in this trailer, but I think it was a pretty damn good trailer overall. Yeah. I think it's going to sell people who maybe weren't aware this movie was coming out, that it is in the Harry Potter universe, and it is something you should check out this Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. That is Jeremy Johns. Thank you so much for joining us today. JJ, where can the kids find you online? Uh, they can find me on YouTube, at Jeremy Johns. Same with Twitter, at Jeremy Johns. Uh, Instagram, at Jeremy Johns. And uh, Facebook, at Real Jeremy Johns. Because he is the real Jeremy Johns. Like, I'm touching him <laughs> yeah, bam, right now. Right my name is merely Mark Ellis. Am I going to be doing stand-up at New York Comic Con? I don't know. Check my Twitter feed, at Mark Ellis Live. Thank you for joining us. Thank you guys for joining us. Comment right now. Let us know what you thought of this trailer. And subscribe right here at Collider Video. For Eddie Redmayne.